Hi guys, I hope that you're all well. It's such a lovely sunny day today and I'm apologising in advance if the lighting dips in and out but we don't have blinds yet in the loft and I've tried to contract it with fake light on the other side but it's going to just dip in and out but it's such a lovely day that I just wanted to film while the sun was out. Before I get into this haul I just want to say thank you so much to all of you who left really encouraging motivational comments on my last video which was the workout haul. I did work out that day and um, I posted a picture on my sort of healthy living Instagram so thank you so much for all of the encouragement. Whilst I was at the Trafford Centre yesterday I went to a store called Win Naturally. I didn't get a whole lot but I got a few things so I thought I would just share them with you in this haul just to let you guys know who live in the northwest that this shop is there because I have been wanting to go there for quite a while. My friend Caroline actually tweeted about this store um, and I was really really excited to go because they stock Quest bars which are protein bars that I really like and they're really difficult to get hold of in the UK and so I wanted to go and just check out the other things that they had. I didn't get any Quest bars because I still have a couple in my house and I didn't really need any but yeah I decided to just go and check out the other offerings that they have because if they have quest bars then the stock must be good. So like I said it's called Win Naturally and it is downstairs in the Trafford Centre towards the Debenhams end so that's kind of like below Lush like in that kind of area that's where the store is and they do have a website called winnaturally.com so I'm sure you'll be able to order online in the UK I'm not sure about overseas but I was really excited to go and I'd seen on their website that they stocked quinoa pasta and things like that. So I'm going to dig into my bag and show you what I got. Um, the first thing that I picked up were these. Um, I've been on the lookout for these for so long and every online store that I look at is always out of stock. They're really difficult to come by um, and in person at least for me. So I decided to just go ahead and pick these up. They are the Freedom Mallows. Um, which are just marshmallows but they're basically vegetarian marshmallows because if you didn't know veg um, vegetarians can't eat marshmallows and they're one of the things that I never used to eat marshmallows okay before I became vegetarian never ate a marshmallow really didn't enjoy them didn't like flumps but now that I know I can't eat them as an adult when I get a hot chocolate I just feel so victimized <laughs> I can't have marshmallows on top so yeah they're full of sugar and they're not necessarily the healthiest thing but I was just so excited to find vegetarian marshmallows that I picked these up. Yeah, full of sugar, but vegetarian. I can finally have like a decadent hot chocolate if I want one. Um, the next thing that I got are these quinoa chips. I picked these up because I thought they just looked interesting. This stuff is not necessarily like the healthiest of foods because, you know, anything like fruits and vegetables and lentils and beans and all the stuff other stuff that they sell I get anyway and I have it in at home but they're just different things to try so these are the quinoa chips they are vegan um, they don't have any gluten or wheat in them um, which is why I wanted to try these just because I was just interested to know what a quinoa chip would taste like basically I have been incorporating a lot more gluten free things into my diet since the beginning of the year but I didn't really say anything on my channel because everybody's got their own opinion on you know gluten free and whether you should go gluten free or not I definitely don't think it's essential for everybody um, and a lot of people get a bit angry when people who don't need to be gluten free eat gluten free and I get that because it sort of trivializes things I know a lot of people who actually can't eat gluten and my friend is one of them get very very intense stomach cramps you know you can have intestinal bleeding it can be really really debilitating and I just choose not to eat gluten regularly and so maybe people don't take those people seriously and I totally understand that but I did do some reading over the Christmas break about gluten and wheat and I personally am just interested in trying it because there is a link between uh, PCOS and insulin resistance which I am insulin resistant and p the potential by cutting out gluten you know to to alleviate that anything I can do to help my PCOS I will but also just because it makes me feel a bit better um, but I have eaten gluten a few times since I've read about it um, I think I was gluten-free properly for about a month and a half and then 
I got hormonal and I ordered a pizza, it happens. Um, and also when I've been out, there haven't been gluten-free vegetarian options, so I've had gluten a couple of times, but literally like maybe five or six times I've, I've eaten it. Other than that, I've been experimenting with different types of flowers and different things, and I've really been enjoying just experimenting because it makes me use different things as well. Um, Anyway, that was a big rant, ramble, but basically I've just been incorporating more gluten-free products into my life. So usually I don't buy the packaged gluten-free stuff just because uh, a lot of the stuff that they put in the packaged gluten-free stuff is actually just as um, spiking to your blood sugar, which is the reason that I would be choosing not to, to eat gluten. Um, you know if you are gluten intolerant because it makes you ill then you might want to eat those but for me it's about keeping my blood sugar stable so there's not really much point but every now and again it's nice to just be able to have something that you, you crave so anyway off on a tangent but these quinoa chips um, are sun-dried tomato and roasted garlic and they look a lot like the Walker sun bites so I'm interested to try those I got another flavor as well of the quinoa chips these are chili and lime um, chili and lime is like my favourite combination of two flavours so that should be really nice and yeah these were about 50p so you know not bad um, the vegetarian marshmallows are like £2 for a little small bag but it's going to be so worth it when I have that hot chocolate and the next thing that I got was this um, organic rice quinoa for silly and I am not a huge pasta lover I'm not really that bothered about pasta to be honest I don't crave it ever um, but it's nice to be able to make a pasta salad in the summertime if you have a barbecue or if you just want something in the fridge for a quick lunch but on a day-to-day -day basis I don't eat a lot of pasta so this is just mainly to keep in my cupboard Matt likes pasta a lot more than I do when he eats whole grain pasta but um, yeah when people try and eat gluten-free I think pasta is the one thing that a lot of people miss but for me it's like bread bread is king for me. This is made with a mixture of rice flour and quinoa flour and if anyone knows where I can get quinoa flour in the UK then I would really appreciate it because I've been playing with chickpea flour, rice flour, almond flour, oat flour and I make my own of most of those by using my Vitamix however I would love to be able to have some quinoa flour or if I can make my own quinoa flour probably I could probably do that let me know below anyway Again, I'm rambling. Uh, the next thing I got, which I'm probably more likely to eat, even though it's pasta, but I'm more likely to eat this spaghetti kind of pasta than um, the other kind. Um, this is again rice and quinoa. It's made with exactly the same blend of rice flour and quinoa flour. And I like to make kind of spaghetti with um, pesto and then I will just have that as a side or, you know, rather than having pasta as a main meal, I like to have pasta, um, yeah, with pesto on. So I'll probably eat this more than the other one, but they're just good to have it in my cupboard if I have a lazy day or if I want to eat some pasta. And I just want to point out, I would really recommend if you are buying quinoa that you buy fair trade quinoa if possible. There's a little bit of a controversy with quinoa and the supply of quinoa. And if you buy fair trade, then you know you're going to be getting, you know, giving people a good wage and stuff. Um, the last thing that I got again totally unhealthy but I, I mainly got these for Matt just because they looked like Mike and Ike's or something um, and these are beanies berry explosion and they are gluten free they were in the gluten free section so I think that's why I picked them up um, but they're also gelatin free and it's really difficult sometimes to find sweets that are vegetarian and we all crave sweets every now and again so I picked these up because if you go to cinema or something like that then it's good to just have something that you can share and um, eat so yeah maybe not the healthiest <laughs> um, basket but uh, if you are looking for alternative ingredients or if you are vegetarian or you know gluten intolerant or whatever then you might actually find this shop or the website really helpful Um, it's quite small but they do have quite a lot of stock and the staff were you know helpful and things like that the only thing I was a bit disappointed in I really really wanted to get some liquid stevia in person um, but they didn't have any liquid stevia so I'm gonna to have to order that online the, the UK is weird with stevia like we can't sell it as a sweetener like we can't buy liquid stevia in a lot of shops as a sweetener it's sold as sort of a herbal remedy or something because of the law the stupid food companies who want to try and get everybody addicted to sugar so yeah that was the only disappointment I would have liked to be able to pick up some liquid stevia but if you are interested in any of those things then you can check it out in the Trafford Centre and um, 
yeah I don't know what I'm doing now I'm just rambling so I'm gonna go now I will speak to you very soon and I'll see you in my next video